The decomposition tree is the cool new AI powered visual in Power BI that can really help you explore and analyze your data. We will show you step by step on how you can use the decomposition tree visual and also share some useful tips along the way. Hey, I'm Avi Singh, Microsoft MVP and best selling Power BI author. And if you want to become a Power BI pro, make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you are notified whenever I go live to answer your Power BI questions. And if you're just getting started or keep getting stuck with Power BI, then make sure to check out our number one ranked Power BI tutorial. You can find the link in the corner or down in the description below. So let's keep going with the decomposition tree. Now, as of right now, this is a preview feature. That means before you can use it, you're going to have to go to options, preview features, and just check that box. Once that's there, it's going to be available on Power BI. So let's just start from scratch. What I'm going to do is go to visualization here and you would see these uh, three icons here, uh, three visualizations with the light bulb, which signifies the AI capability uh, underneath, under the hood, which is powering these visuals. And the middle one here is the decomposition tree. I'm going to just add it. And, and for now, I'm just going to use the whole screen real estate. Uh, by the way, of course, you saw, uh, well, as you can see in some of these other examples, this visual obviously can coexist with all the other visuals and so forth. Uh, but for now, we're just going to take the whole screen, screen space, screen real estate here. Uh, folks, you can grab this file and along with all of my other download files at the URL shown right here on the screen. And we're also going to link it in the corner and again down in the description. So you can click there as well. The so decomposition tree visual, I really like it because for one, it's really simple to use and understand. There are these just, just these two options here, analyze and explain by. Analyze is something that you want to explore. And in this case, we're going to pick our sales measure. So I'm just going to drag sales there. And right now it's not interesting. It, you, you can't do anything of the visual here because you need the other set of fields. Now for this one, you, you know, you should add a, a, a few here. So basically you can add anything by which either you think that you or an end user of the report may want to analyze or explore this data by. So I'm just going to, you know, of course, this is a sample data set. So I'm just going to make a best guess, but this you can work with your customer or your client or or just try different things out but you know it doesn't hurt to add quite a few fields in there so i'm going to grab some from product so country category subcategory maybe add color in there uh, maybe grab some customer attributes uh, how about uh, uh, their education and uh, occupation let's uh, let's kind of stick with that right so and and the order of this is uh, slightly important but not that important and i'll tell you in just a second so what we're going to do right now is actually not going to do anything in here and we're just going to publish this report so i'm going to click publish and i'll see you once it's on powerbi.com all right my report is published and i can pop over to powerbi.com where i'm logged in and that is my report and i want to show it to you here because i want to emphasize that this capability to explore data and analyze it is now available to to all the users of this report. So if you have published it online and shared it with hundreds or thousands of users, they all can kind of come in, come in here and kind of slice and dice this data as they see fit. All right, so they can come in here and I can say, oh, okay, cool. I want to see the breakdown by country and then, well, maybe go to United Kingdom and look at it by category. And within that, maybe uh, look at subcategory uh, and then uh, and, and this is where the AI features come in and say, well, I, I don't want to choose. Just show me the one that has the highest value. And it does that and it indicates that by this light bulb icon that AI selected it and it determined that you wanted the highest value and that it found based on the color and the color is red. And I can keep going from there and say, well, what, what's the lowest value? And then again, it does it, uh, it does it, determines it by itself and you can see the light bulb icon and says, well, the lowest value was in occupation management. That's the breakdown, right? And, and again, the visual is pretty cool. You can kind of zoom in, zoom out, uh, and it scales really well. All right, so you've seen the power of the uh, decomposition tree visual. I'm just going to share uh, some, uh, some tips and tricks here. So one thing that I mentioned is that the the field, well, this explained by, is the order important or not? Well, it's not important in the sense that the order does not determine the uh, you know th the way they explore the data. They can they are free to choose any one of these selections, right? So 
so they can go in here and select color to begin with, right? So uh, again, they, they don't have to uh, go in that order. All right, but the field in which it is you, you, uh, you order them is the way in which they're displayed in the drop down menu so you you know gives you some control to guide the user so obviously uh you know you're going to put what you think are the more important ones at the top right so again they can choose any one they want but this gives them some guidance now another tip that i would share here is that sometimes you might be dragging a lot of different fields in here and when you're dragging for you it's very clear that this is product category product color but when the user clicks on this again the end user it may not be clear like is this customer country or what is this sales country and there what you can do is you can just rename some of these fields I'm just gonna rename one of them just to show you uh, what you may do and you can say rename and uh, and you can be more descriptive and again this doesn't rename the field itself I mean you can see in the in the field value product it's still called color but it just renames it for this visual and of course what uh, I would recommend is you rename some of these others as well so you can say product category customer education and so forth and that way when the customer is the end user is exploring it it's gonna make more sense so it's gonna say customer occupation customer education product color right so that's just one tip uh, on using the decomposition tree visual let me show you a few other things around the decomposition trees So now we talked about the AI capability right so where where you say well I, I don't really care just show me kind of whichever uh, field of this has the high high value right so whichever is the biggest contributor and again it determines that and expands and you can keep going and you can say well high value well great well, subcategory what's the next highest value but the the AI part here is that this selection is actually dynamic so let me show you it's easy to just show you what that means so here I have done this basically high value and again you can have a combination of high and low doesn't matter but again it's dynamic so and it's gonna change based on either the selection or imagine if you refresh the data and now you have the current month's data current year's data and and now subcategory or or color you know this something is more important well let me just show you all right so in this case uh, uh, instead of refresh I'm just gonna select something here so watch this order here color country education and uh, well color country occupation notice how it changed that so overall it's color country and then education is the highest factor but in 2014 it was just at occupation and then notice it changed back to education color country and and so forth and if I choose a specific month uh, notice wow it, it totally swapped so now it's category color is the biggest factor here biggest breakdown here so again uh, I just wanted to point out the the AI capability that this thing is going to be dynamic now talking about that you can also if you want to control a specific uh, you know kind of a, 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 a the layout of that uh, you can also lock it down so example I can uh, I can come in here country and, and I can lock it down and that way what's gonna happen is when I publish this visual obviously as an author I can come in and unlock it but anybody on powerbi.com they would not be able to hit the X and delete it because it's been locked for them now we've been using this for uh, a pretty simple measure sales which is just semi sales amount but again you can use this for any simple or complex measure imagine if you have uh, new customers or lost customers or anything that is really dear near and dear important metric or KPI for your business and you can use the decomposition tree absolutely kind of have the user be able to click and explore it and in this case exactly figure out that oh well where are my new customers kind of coming from and just like any other power bi visuals you you expect this does it's fully interactive I mean not only can you expand and explore but you can highlight across highlight as well so in this case you know I can I can select a specific one I can say yep and and you can see the the rest of the report filters down to that right so I can I can be here and I can say hey show me bike show me accessories so on that whole path gets selected so this one right now basically has selected United Kingdom and clothing and of course uh, if I had other uh, path in there then it selects United Kingdom clothing manual and uh, it's showing me data for that decomposition tree also respects bookmarks uh, that makes it pretty cool so let me 
turn on bookmarks and you can see here I can toggle from one bookmark to other so you can use this definitely if you're storytelling or presenting and, and you know kind of, kind of based on that and the last uh, uh, thing that I want to talk about is that one reason why I like the decomposition tree is that in the beginning we did use the whole screen real estate because just because I wanted to make it easier to show it to you but I feel like this visual can work really well in a compact space as well so if you're if you have a busy dashboard you don't have that much space you can leave it on the side and just you know instruct and train your users to expand to focus mode to analyze sales and and of course they you know they once they toggle the focus mode then they can have it full screen so again by default it doesn't need to take up a lot of space you can have it uh, off in a corner and then have the user explore it in focus mode so that was the decomposition tree if you absolutely love this visual then drop a comment below and let me know or maybe there's something in this visual which you don't quite like doesn't quite work right then also add a comment and let us know and make sure to keep watching our next videos to take the next step to become a Power BI Pro and hey don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time until then power on